Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little pack opening. Uh, haven't really opened up much on the channel at all, actually, so far this year. I think it was my first video, technically, of 2024. Um, honestly, there just hasn't been product that I really wanted to open, and there really hasn't been anything that come, you know, worth breaking either, in my opinion, at least. Um, but uh, with that, figured I saw Chronicles... A while back i wanted to pick up some of the least the value packs because i don't know i've always had pretty good luck out of these in the past i know it's a panini product i know it's an unlicensed product also too they did change the format this year where there is no or i should say there's very limited uh current uh day players that are actually in the major leagues mostly of them are, are actually i think pretty much all of them are rookies i think there might be like one i think like bobby witt somehow slipped through um but basically, it's all, you know, Hall of Famers, uh, players in the past, and then you have your current prospects, who uh, most likely to be in this product, I'm assuming, isn't on the 40, wasn't on the 40-man roster maybe when they created this. I could be mistaken on that, though. Um, not too sure what the cutoff was with that, but uh, 15 cards per pack. These are $7 a pack at Target. Um, Chronicles, usually one of my favorite Panini releases, just because I do like the whole oddball different sets uh within the set I, I don't know i get a kick out of it so um so here we are to start us off uh moose scoron uh some of these um, luminance definitely a little hard to read dalton rushing then we got daniel susak zach veen on the uh, vertex i believe that one is carlos beltran on luminance then we got vince coleman on the pinnacle Suzuki on Limited. Then we have Classics, George Valera. Jimmy Crooks on their Basic Chronicles, Will Fritch. They got Jung So Shim, also Unlimited. Classics, Luke Garrick. Uh, we usually got, I think, one parallel. We got Elements, Harry Ford, decent prospect there. Mariano Rivera, Certified. And then Brandon Fott. Obsidian, which I think he was the only actual rookie card that we got. Um, like when Donruss came out and when... Pr I don't know if he was in Prism, to be honest with you. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I know he, I'm pretty confident he wasn't in Donruss. So, all right. I mean, you know, so-so pack. Um, like I said, I, I do like the different sets within the sets. You can get autographs. You can get uh, memorabilia cards out of the uh value packs as well there's just absolutely no guarantee the only thing that the only product that guarantees it is one of the mega boxes but i don't know i just didn't really feel like spending the money on a mega box this year uh tony Gwynn. then we got uh, andre dalton mel ott then we got jackson holiday top prospect in baseball currently then we got ivan melendez another pretty decent prospect in my opinion we got Harmon Killebrew. We got cards going all different ways. Ramirez with the Cubs, Limited. Duke Schneider, Classics. Kevin Parada, Chronicles. Suzuki, Limited. George Valera, uh, Classics. Jimmy Crooks, definitely getting some, uh, uh, some dupes. We got a Recon, Alex Ramirez. Cool looking card in my opinion. Uh, Tink Hentz, Certified. And then we got Jose Canseco on the Titan uh, insert. So, all right, nothing real crazy, but I know, like I said, I know this isn't a, a set that you're going to really kind of make your money back on if you if you buy a box, a hobby box or anything like that. I mean, I've seen some really nice pulls out of it, and I've seen some uh, that have not really had something. So we got David McCabe. Uh, we got Chase Muroth. Then we got Owen White, Larry Doby. Tony Gwynn again, Andre Dawson, definitely getting some dupes. Trevor Hoffman, Gabriel Gonzalez, the classics. Uh, Andre, or Andrew Taylor, excuse me. Cade Doughtry, Yohu Lee, which, yeah, still in a Phillies uniform there. Or still a Phillies card, technically. You got Jack Leiter, which I, you can't get any of his any of his cards in any of the Bowman yet. Uh, we got Elite Henry Davis, rookie card actually. Then we got Ben Sheets, Recon, and then Gil Hodges for the Crusades. So, I mean, this product, I know I spent what, $24 plus some tax on this. Um, I know I'm not getting $24 
back in value, but I, I just find these to be fun, uh, in my opinion. I do like a little bit of a mix of the legends and the current day prospects, but we got Tim McCarver, Classics, Jake Bennett, Johnny Mize, Buster Posey, Tony Perez, then we got Pee Wee Reese, then we got Mike Mussina, uh, Luminance, then we got Brian Ruchiro, Nick Gonzalez, uh, Chase DeWalter, then we got Joe DiMaggio, uh, Jose Ramos, and then we got, what we got here? We got a couple of cards going a couple of different ways. We got Nick Gonzalez, certified rookie card actually. Uh, AJ Smith Schaller uh, on the XR, and then Yiddy Cap for the Titan. So, uh, you know, packs were okay, nothing real crazy. Um, honestly, kind of got really what I was expecting. Uh, kind of just kind of maybe, maybe just kind of chasing a couple of, like Jet William cards or Alex Ramirez, which we did get one of them. Uh, we also did get a Kevin Parada card, but um, I have a feeling that I can definitely see him definitely being traded from the Mets, but. Um, anyway, like I said, short little video with, uh, Chronicles. Um, it's, it's definitely an okay product. It's probably one of my favorite of the Penny ones where I get an entertainment value out of it, if that makes sense. Um, I definitely understand that it's not for everybody. I know a lot of people do not like any Panini baseball, which I get it since they're not licensed and, and they're really not using too much of the current MLB players. It's most, it's all prospects. A sprinkle of rookies and then you know your ex uh hall of famers or legends or even just kind of some fan favorites almost too for some but anyway with that uh like i said once we get some new releases uh from you know tops and such uh we'll definitely be doing some more videos on the channel so i'm sorry for you know kind of a little lull of some videos if you've been looking for any of my videos um definitely looking forward to stadium club coming out in about two weeks I believe Bowman Best is coming out. We'll probably do a break of that, most likely. At least one, maybe two. We'll see how the product is, how we feel. Um, but definitely looking forward to some Stadium Club. I'm looking forward to opening that. I'll open up a pretty much... I'll, that's one of those products I will open up probably a little too much of uh, than I should. We'll definitely be doing some breaks of that as well. We've had some great pulls out of it last year and in previous years. Um, I believe Stadium Club Chrome has been canned for the year. Uh, which is a little bit of disappointment because that is definitely a very nice product in my opinion. But anyway, with that, um, if you liked the video, greatly appreciate it with a like on it. Leave any comments on Chronicles. You know, do you at least open a little bit of it just for the entertainment value of it, knowing that, you know, it's just base cards and or mostly base cards and uh, um, the non-licensing and all that kind of stuff, just to kind of collect some cards of players that you might collect. But um, I always like to hear you guys' comments on that. And then with that too, if you're new to the channel, greatly appreciate it. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified of any of my future uploads. And with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a great night.